Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the power of numbers for business planning. My name is Ross Jones, I'm a business coach. I work with business owners and their teams to help them achieve their dreams and goals, whatever they may be, and help you overcome the challenges that may be stopping you achieving them. And one of the things I've found over the years is that many people in business bury their head in the sand when it comes to numbers. Sometimes it's just like fear of numbers or thinking that's the accountant's job, but numbers play a crucial part in your business because they tell you the truth. You know, sometimes we have a feeling things are good or we have a feeling things are not so good, but actually that's just your objective feeling. It's not the truth, the factual truth. And facts are found in data. Numbers don't lie, numbers tell the truth. So I'll give you an example. A client of mine, he is in a state of growth, but he's a bit afraid. He's thinking, if I expand now, I've got to recruit more people and that's going to cost me money. And I've heard from other people that sales are drying up, that there's a recession coming, all these things that are holding him back from things that he's hearing and that he's, what is fear, the fear that he's feeling. So I know this business is a great business, is in a great state of growth. In order to grow and able to deliver all the work that I know is coming in, he's going to have to expand his team. So I helped this guy get together his numbers. So we got together all of his sales pipeline. His team are busy receiving all of these leads every day. I got it displayed in a format so that he could see that actually the sales pipeline went like two thirds into the year. And uh, so that gave him confidence that the work was there. We analyzed where the, the inquiries were coming from and they were all existing customers or referrals from existing customers. So what that gave him the, uh, the evidence of is that he's not doing any marketing. Well, the only marketing he's doing is providing a great service, which is being enough to bring people back to him. But he's not actually paying to do any marketing. He's not actually doing any active market, proactive market, marketing. So if he found that his leads are drying up, there's a whole pool of prospects out there for him to target through marketing. So that gave him confidence too. And then we did a cash flow forecast. So if all of these jobs are coming in, what does that mean in monetary terms? So we were able to forecast right out into the, into, into the year uh, to give him an idea of all the money that's coming into his business. And so that has given him confidence. Now he feels he can invest in new people, he can invest in machinery, a new van, and he can invest in automating processes, putting new systems in. And what this is all going to mean is that he's going to be more productive, more effective. He's going to be able to deliver quicker and better for his customers. And so he's going to be able to do more work more quickly. And that's just an example of having the power of numbers rather or versus your feeling about how things are. So now I'm a big believer in your intuition, your gut feeling, but really when the chips are down, you need to make decisions. Numbers are your number one uh, gold dust in your business. You know, your numbers might be different. For example, you might, have, you might find that actually you haven't got that many leads coming in. So you're gonna have to do some more lead generation work. Or maybe you're getting leads in, but not converting many into customers. So you may have to do some work on your conversion in the next, in the next quarter. All of these numbers affect our plans going forward. We can't just keep on doing the same things over and over unless everything is happening spectacularly well for us. So we need to be looking at our numbers in the last quarter, analysing them and deciding what actions do we need to make in the next quarter to improve these numbers. There are so many different numbers in your business, it's uh, beyond the scope of this little video to go through them all. But if you'd like some help with any of this, please feel free to get in touch and I look forward to hearing from you about any differences it's making to your business. Please, if you like the content for this video, subscribe to this channel and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.